Hey guys, welcome back to Vix Vehicles. And today I'm gonna to be replacing another worn out part on this 200,000 mile Camry. Today specifically, I'm gonna be replacing the dog mount or engine mount, torque strut, engine damper, whatever you wanna call it. Basically, this attaches the top of the engine to some point on the chassis and it prevents your engine from rocking back and forth too much. Basically, over time, the rubber bushing on this mount just wears out and it starts cracking. And when you have a cracked bushing, it's not gonna be stabilizing your engine at all. So you can see here, as we're pressing the accelerator, just how much movement there is in this mount. To do the replacement, all you have to do is loosen these two bolts, one right there and one there. They're both 14 millimeters, so let's go ahead and remove these. Once the bolts are out, this should come out pretty easily. And then just do a quick cleanup of the area. Get any dust out before you install the new mount. And here's a look at the old bushing. You can clearly see how the rubber is starting to split right there. So basically, this is not going to be doing a good job of keeping the engine in place. So definitely check out your rubber mounts and see if they are disintegrating in any way at all. And now we can reinstall the new engine damper. You might run into an issue where after you install one bolt, the other one might not be fully aligned in that hole. So all we gotta do is kinda just push the engine a little bit so we can get that bolt started. If you're having trouble doing this single-handedly, I recommend just getting a screwdriver to kinda shift the engine like that. You'll see her be rocking back and forth. So use a screwdriver to get it in position. And then you can hold it in place and then get the bolt in. and then proceed to just torque it down. All right guys, so that maintenance job is all set. Again, that was another quick 10 minute thing you can do to your old car. Just replace you know, some rubber bits here and there and it'll be driving much smoother. And as you can see here, when the car is idling, the RPM meter is not really jumping up and down. Before, it was vibrating like crazy every time it came to a stop, but now it's you know nice and stable, and you don't feel those harsh vibrations when you're sitting in traffic. So again, for like a few bucks, this part was really cheap, and it's definitely a worthwhile maintenance job to do for your old high mileage vehicle.